Node.js email support is really easy. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to send an email using NodeMailer and SMTP. Let's go. Okay, so here I have a new Node.js project and in it, we're gonna send an email. So I can type that the subject is gonna be test email and the body can be hello world. So now we need to connect to an SMTP server and that will relay an email on behalf of us. So to do that, we need two things. We need the node mailer NPM package and we need a mail server. So in this example, I'm gonna use the free service from mailslurp.com. And if I log into my account, I can create a new mail server for this example. So if I go to inboxes, create inbox, and if I click here, SMTP access enabled, I can see that it will assign to me a new randomized email address that we can connect to. I'm gonna give this a name, test, and create the inbox. Okay, so now we can see I have a brand new email address here that I can send and receive from. Let's use that in our test. So I'll copy this. We go back to our test. We can say that it's from and this email address. And we'll actually send it to itself so that we can read the email as well. Say const two and put that. Okay, now we need to connect to the mail server using the node mailer client. If I bring up my terminal and write npm install, save, node mailer, the package has been added. We can then require the node mailer package, like so. Okay, now the next step is we have to create a transport layer to our SMTP server. So to do this, we can write node mailer, dot create transport. So at this point, we want to consult our MailSlurp app and find the SMTP access details. So if I go back to my MailSlurp app and click on the SMTP IMAP tab. So for this example, I'm gonna keep it simple and connect over plain auth. So let's copy our server host and write host and port, copy the port. We'll write secure false and then pass in some auth. So the username can be found in our dashboard and the password can be added with pass. Let's assign that to a variable called transport. So this approach works for any mail server. We're just using mailslip.com as an example for this tutorial. Now that we have our transport layer, we can send an email. So we simply write transport send mail, and then we pass in our variables that we defined earlier. So subject, text, from, to, and this is a promise, so let's add a then. And then after this, we can just console log saying that the email was sent. And let's also add a catch in case any errors occur and write console.error and pass in the error. Okay, let's run this and see what happens. So I can write node and then my file. And we see email sent, wonderful. Now, if we reload our MailSlurp dashboard, we can see the email has arrived. We can open it up and view the hello world. So there you go. Sending an email with NodeMailer and Node.js is really easy, and you can use any SMTP server. If you don't have a mail server, check out mailslurp.com. It's free and lets you create unlimited email addresses and mail servers on demand whenever you need them. I hope you enjoyed that video. Like and subscribe to help the channel. Thanks.